Hey guys, it's James with Cowboy Cricket Farms. Uh, if I look a little bit different, it's because I just had drill uh, this weekend with the National Guard, so no beard and all the hair is gone. Plus, I, honestly, I think I'm just losing some. Uh, this whole cricket farm thing is apparently driving me bald. Okay, so on that cheery note, um, today we're gonna go over how to harvest the crickets. So this is something really easy that you can do at home. Uh, or, of course, if you have a commercial facility, well, then it's just a bigger freezer. So, speaking of freezers, let's go over... So, first things first is a big freezer in our case. Uh, this is made by Masterbuilt. We ordered it from JV Restaurant here in Bozeman. And um, let's take a look inside here real quick. So it is off. Now this particular one we only use for test processing, but basically it's just a big commercial freezer, right? Cold air comes from there. A bunch of racks for you to hold stuff on. In this case, crickets. And you'll see what we do with that in just a minute. Mmm, that's gonna be a tasty cricket. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got a bunch of adult crickets. Uh, they've already been breeding and laying eggs. Uh, there's a lot more in the egg cartons as you'll see here soon. Um, but what we need to do is clean out their bin. So that includes removing the feed and the sponge and uh, any excess frass that we can easily get, which we're not really gonna worry about right now. So let's do that. So first we're gonna go ahead and take out our water and then any excess feed that we have just scoop over here, get our device. So we have our fracinator, and we're just gonna go ahead and scoop this up. Watch out, Cricket. Okay, so the feed is taken care of. Next comes the frass. So what I like to do on these is just reach under here a little bit and get kind of what's easily accessible. Also, if there's too much frass mixed in with a bit of feed, then we'll go ahead and just call that frass. Um, I'd rather not feed it to any other crickets. Every now and then, there will be a dead one like this, especially right now because we are breeding them a little bit longer than we normally would. So, we've got that frass together. Let's go ahead and scoop that up. Okay, the excess frass is scooped up. More importantly, the water and the feed are gone. Also, all the crickets have hidden at this point. So the next thing to do is wait. So what do I mean by wait? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give them about 24 hours to completely clear out their digestive system. This also gives a chance for any of the uh, especially weak ones to die off. Uh, we just don't wanna harvest them. They're still good for use in, in frass maybe, but certainly not as food. Uh, we only try to give the absolute best high quality crickets here. So we want the biggest, strongest, healthiest crickets possible because those are the ones that are going to give you the best nutrition. Um, so, let's wait 24 hours. 24 hours later. Okay, so we're back to our bin here. Let's open her up. Now, there might be just a little bit more frass, but shouldn't be too much, especially because usually they stay in here. Uh, I just moved it, so as you can see, they're pretty much hiding again. So now, the next step is to take these out slowly and shake them off. Now what we're doing is we're shaking off both the frass and the crickets and we'll just set them off to the side there. Now depending on how much these things have been used you can either reuse them or you can compost them. One of the beautiful things about using this kind of egg carton is that it has a lot of different purposes. In fact I should probably make a video about this in the future but you can actually plant little seeds right in here in a little bit of dirt and use those as tiny little seed starters in your garden. Plus, they're covered in cricket poop, so they're super nutritious and they'll help to fend off any other insects. So you can see all the frass that's been collected under this. Now, when you check out the ones that have the uh, egg cartons all the way across, the bottom is just covered with probably three pounds or so of frass. Now, what you'll see here is, um, well, not very many crickets, and that's because they're all hiding in there. So once we take this out, 
suddenly we've got tons of crickets. Now, if this was a full one, what you want to do is before you take away this uh, last set here that I just disturbed and released all the crickets, uh, you want to clear up all the frass that's in there. Otherwise, it's really a pain to collect them. Um, in fact, I think I'm going to put one of these over here, let them climb up, and then we'll just uh, collect the frass right here. So, I'm going to do that now. Okay, the frass is now collected, and uh, you'll see that there's again not too many crickets out. A lot of them are going to be in there. So I'm going to show you one of two methods. Now, the easy method, take everything out. As long as it's sufficiently clean, you can just pour it into a fresh container. Uh, second way though, since I like to naturally climb up these things, we can just get a separate bin and shake them off into there. So let's try that. So I've got a nice clean bin here, completely sanitized. And we're going to take this and carefully, see all those crickets, shake them off into here. Now if you just do that a few more times, you'll get all of these crickets with all of these crickets. So like I said, the second method, we tamp them all into the corner. And then just shake them down. You just want to be careful if there's any excess frass. You can see there's a little bit collected there you don't get it into this bin otherwise you're gonna have to clean out and do everything all over so something you can do is just kind of either gently shake or just kind of assist them with your hand now, I don't have enough hands to do this on camera right now but basically you just you know, gently persuade them in the other direction okay so all of them are in the bin ready to go this is obviously a really small batch we're just doing this for the video to make it all easy uh, so in the freezer they go Right here on this shelf it's about five degrees Fahrenheit in here and it'll take about 20 minutes to actually completely harvest them so it's basically just as simple as that um, all the crickets that go into the freezer uh, they're then going to be processed we'll show that on a different episode and then all of the frass uh, it basically just gets the big stuff removed out of it and then bottled and sent off to farmers or personal gardeners And again, that'll be a different episode. So uh, Keep tuning in hope you enjoyed this and hope that you are learning a lot about cricket farming If there's anything along the way that I miss that you really would like to see that you want me to touch on in a further video Just let me know and if you like what you're seeing, please like and subscribe tell your friends uh, we've got a really cool video coming out soon unrelated to this that will also have a cool giveaway related. So, awesome stuff. Thank you very much. And as usual, stay chirpy, my friends. Seriously, I, I, think, it's, I think it's going away. Do I? Ah, there's a hair! There's hairs! Make it stop!